How do you calculate how much air or CFM you need to provide to achieve a certain number of air changes? We'll show you how to determine the amount of CFM or air required for a space based on the required air change rate per hour. Often specifications or standards will mandate a minimum air change per hour for a room for ventilation purposes, odor control, pressure relationship between spaces, or to achieve a cleanliness level like in a clean room or operating room. Air changes per hour is an indication of how many times the air within this space is exhausted, recirculated through the system, or recirculated within the space. We'll cover how to calculate CFM and air changes using several different examples, including hospitals and clean rooms. The formula for air changes per hour looks like this. Air changes per hour equals CFM times 60 divided by the volume of the room. We can express it another way in order to calculate CFM as CFM equals air changes per hour times volume of room divided by 60 minutes per hour. Clean rooms are hidden from our view, but they are used throughout the industry for businesses such as food manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, electronics manufacturing of computer chips, and any product requiring a clean environment. Clean rooms require large amounts of air to be recirculated through the filters to achieve a certain level of cleanliness. Clean rooms are classified according to ISO levels 1 through 8, with ISO class 1 being the most stringent or cleanest. An ISO level 1 clean room can require in the range of 500 to 750 air changes per hour and require approximately 80% to 100% of the ceiling to be covered in filtration. ISO class 8 can require in the range of 5 to 60 air changes per hour and have a ceiling coverage rate of 5 to 15%. For a clean room air change rate example, let's use the following information given to us by the owner. Space is to be a class one clean room. The measurements of the room equal 12 foot by 20 foot by nine foot. And the requirements are 500 air changes per hour minimum. Step one is to determine the volume of the room. 12 foot by 20 foot by nine foot equals 2,160 cubic feet. This is the volume that needs to be removed from the space every hour multiplied by the number of air changes required in an hour. The thing to remember is that this is in cubic feet an hour, and we need to get the units to minutes, as in cubic feet per minute, CFM. Step two, determine required recirculation CFM. CFM equals the air changes per hour times the volume divided by 60 minutes per hour. CFM equals 500 air changes times our volume of 2,160 cubic feet divided by 60 to get it to minutes, not hours. CFM equals 18,000. Air changes within a hospital. Air changes per hour is a common design requirement for various rooms within a hospital. Critical spaces within hospitals require that a certain amount of ventilation air be brought into the room every hour in addition to that, there is another requirement to recirculate the full volume of air a minimum number of times through the system every hour. For example, a recovery room may require two air changes per hour of ventilation air with a minimum air change rate of six for the space. This will require that the volume of outside air for ventilation be two times the volume of the space within an hour, and another four air changes recirculated through the HVAC system for a total of six air changes per hour. The difference between a hospital room, like an operating room, and a clean room is that the operating room doesn't allow the air to be recirculated within the space, as opposed to a clean room 
where the use of fan-powered recirculation units are acceptable to achieve the required cleanliness level. Increased air changes reduce odors, increase air quality and cleanliness. There is obviously a cost to increasing the quantity of air changes due to the consumption of fan and or compressor power. Providing the correct amount of air changes and no more is critical to providing an energy efficient system. When critical spaces are unoccupied, air changes should be set back to lower volumes or turned off if allowed. For our second example, we'll use a hospital. We use the same volume as the previous example so that you can see what the difference is between the two air change rates. Our room will be a hospital recovery room. The space volume is the same as before at 12 feet by 20 feet by 9 feet. The requirements are two air changes per hour of ventilation with a six air change per hour minimum. Step one again is to determine the volume of the room which is 2,160 cubic feet. Step two, determine the required ventilation CFM. CFM equals two air changes per hour times 2,160 cubic feet divided by 60. CFM equals 72. Step three is to determine the required minimum CFM. CFM equals six air changes times 2,160 cubic feet divided by 60. CFM equals 216. Step four is to determine the required CFM to be recirculated through the HVAC equipment. Minimum air changes per hour minus ventilation air changes per hour equals recirculated air changes per hour. This can be stated in CFM. Recirculated CFM equals minimum CFM 216 minus ventilation CFM 72 recirculated CFM 144. You can see that the same size room at two different air change rates makes a huge difference in the volume of air that must be circulated. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.